So some of you guys may know the history behind Orange Shirt Day and some of you guys may not. And that's okay if you guys don't know because in today's video I'm going to be giving a little lesson about why Orange Shirt Day is so important to the indigenous community. Now I know the Canadian residential school system and the American residential school system are different but for this video we are only talking about the Canadian residential school system. So Orange Shirt Day started back in 2013 and it is a way for us to remember all those children who were taken by the Canadian government and forced into the residential school system. The residential school system of Canada lasted between the late 1860s and early 1900s with the last one only closing in 1996. Yes, I said that right. 1996 was when the last one closed here in Canada. So on her first day at residential school, Phyllis Webstad was given an orange shirt by her grandmother. Unfortunately for her, she had the shirt taken from her and she never got it back. So I forgot to mention this, but the reason why Phyllis Webstad got her shirt taken away was because once they were admitted into these schools, the nuns took all their personal belongings, they stripped the children and sent them towards showers, after which they doused them in a toxic powder. I don't remember the name, but if I do, I'll put it right here. So they did this as a way to cleanse them um, before they were admitted to the schools because these schools were church run and they were funded by the Canadian government. So if they were boys and had long hair, they were forced to cut it and shave it right down to their scalp. And the girls, they also had to get their long hair cut um, and they were only allowed to have a bob. So in 2013, Phyllis Webstad started Orange Shirt Day so that we may remember all those countless lives lost within the residential school system, as well as honor all those who survived. Orange Shirt Day is every year on September 30th. This is around the time where the kids were taken from their families and sent to residential schools. I just want to say that just because Orange Shirt Day is just one day designated to remembering all those that survived residential schools and all those that did not, that doesn't mean that we should stop talking about it the very next day. It should still be a conversation the day after that the week after that, the month after that, the year after that, because for some people and for some families, these effects are still being felt and sadly still being passed down. I just encourage everyone to brush up a little bit on their history, their country's history, their province's history, and even their own city's history with indigenous people. And try not to remember what you learned in textbooks because there are two sides to every story and sometimes you may only just be getting one. <laughs> oh, I need better thumbnails.